Okay, here we go again. Algebra 2, lesson 4-3, finding slope from an equation. So this is Paladin Academy, John Lundquist. And we're going to find, we're going to use the equation and the, we're going to use the slope intercept form of a line. So the, the slope the slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and y is the y intercept. And what we mean by y intercept is this point right there where the where the where the line crosses the y axis. Right there is the y intercept. So in this equation y equals minus x plus 5. Notice we go up 1. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 up. And then the slope, when you have y equals minus x plus 5, we assume the slope is minus 1 over 1. Because the slope is always a fraction. So it's always the change in y or the change in x or rise over run. It's always a fraction. So you notice, and it's negative. So it's going to go downhill. The car is going downhill. So it's going to go this way. It's not going to go this way. And it goes up one over one. Or it could go up three. One, two, three over three. One, two, three. Or it could go down three. One, two, three. Or it could go down five, actually. It could go down five over five. Because as long as it's one to one, well, five over five is one to one, right? Negative. I can go down 5 over 5. Okay. So then the the other one is notice that this is this is the slope the y intercept is 2 is right there. It's up 2, right? And the slope is positive 1 half. It goes up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. Or you could go up 2 over 4, you know, 1, 2 up over 4. Same thing because one half is the same thing as two over four. I just multiply this by two and that by two, and I get you know two and two times two is four. So you can go out, you know, you just multi, you know, want to have a multiple of it. Okay. So in this this lesson, all I want to do is find the slope using from an equation. Find the slope from an equation. So I want to find the slope. Well. This one is easy. I know what the slope is. The slope is minus 5 over 2. Because it's in the same form as y equals mx plus b. And the y-intercept is minus 5, negative 5. So if I want to draw this, I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right here. And then my, my slope is minus 5 over 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2 is right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, right there. So if I drew a line, it would, you know, look, it'd go, go through those points, and I want to make it thick. There, you know, and then I keep going, you know, it would keep going this way. Right? Okay. So I'm going to erase that. Okay. So that one's done. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go on to the next. So this one. Now, whoops, <laughs> don't want to do that. I'm going to find this one. So this one is different. This is what we call the standard form of a line. The standard form of a line. There's three, there's three forms. The standard form the slope intercept form and we'll get to the point slope form uh, next time. The standard form is just you know it's really ax plus by equals c. That's the standard form of a line. But we got to change I got I want slope right so I have to change it to the, the, the slope intercept form. Well I have to just make it look I have to make it look like this. So let's just use different color and then we'll go, well, I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides. 
The reason I'm going to do that is I got to get the x over here on the right. Now because I want the y over on the left, right? So this cancels 8x minus 8x. I get 3x, 3y equals minus 9 minus 8x. Okay. Well, we got to get rid of the 3 because it's, I want y by itself. So I divide by 3. Now here's a trick. If I divide this by 3, it's the same as saying this. It's the same as saying minus 9 minus 8x times 1 third. Same thing as 1 third. And, and it's like distributing it. So it's, it's really, it just really, all it is is distributing it underneath both terms. Because I get a minus 9 divided by 3, minus 8x divided by 3. Because I just distributed the one, the, the 3 underneath both terms, right? So the, so what you do when you see this, when you see this guy, when I divide this side by 3, I just distribute it underneath. So, you know, I just go y, and then the minus 9 divided by 3, minus 8 over 3x. And then I move the x to the side. I move, this is, the, the x is really, you know, was right here. I can move it right next to it. Because this is over 1. I mean, this is over 1. If I multiplied, if I took 8x, right, and put it over 3, well, that's the same as 8 over 3 times x over 1. Right? But x over 1 is just x. So it's 8, at 8 over 3x. So I can just move it next to it. It's just a legal maneuver. And so that's very important to note. So now I get y equals... Now what I'm going to do, this is... Remember, this was 8x. And th this... This is really like a plus, plus a minus. So and my and pluses is, are, is commutative. It means I can the order doesn't matter. So I'm going to move the minus eight over three x in the front. Move this minus nine over three, which is three. There. Okay. So now I know what the, I can figure out the slope. The slope is the this well, that's a very that's a terrible color. The slope is that, minus 8 over 3. Okay, done with that one. And um, so I'm, I'm done with this, I think. No, wait, no, I'm not done with that. i got to do that one. Okay, so same thing. Um, I'm going to move the x. So I'm going to minus 4x both sides. Get minus 8y equals, I'm going, to, I'm going to flip it first. Minus 4x plus 16. I just flip the minus 4 in the front. I just put it in the front. This is a plus. Divide by minus 8. Minus, every term divided by minus 8. That kills off. I get negative divided by negative is 1 half x minus 2, right? So I should graph this. Let me just, so I get minus 2 is the y-intercept. And it's going up 1 half, positive. So it's going to go this way. It's going to go that way. So 1, 2, like that. Or else you could go 2, 4. 1, 2 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, that way. Right there, I could draw a line. We'll go like that. Okay, that's that. Okay. Um, now, and then we just get a little different look on this one here. And it's this take this color. So I'm going to move both of these over. I'm going to put plus 10 negative 2x. So plus 10 negative 2x. Both sides. Minus 2y equals well that's 6. This cancels. That cancels. So I get minus 4 plus 10 is 6. Minus 2x. 
Then I'm going to divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, we get y equals negative 3 plus, this is a negative and a negative plus x. So I could say it's y equals 1 over 1x. There's a 1 in front, and it's a fraction, minus 3. So the slope is minus 1 over 1, negative 3. So there's negative 3. 1 over 1 is the same as, and it's plus, it's the same as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Same thing as that, right? 1 over 1 is that. There's 1 over 1, right? I'm going to draw my line. I could just draw it like that. Okay? So that's that one. And I... Um, I think I think that's enough. Uh, you know, we could do this one, but I, it's the same as what I just did. So I think we're good. Okay, good luck.